So here we have two books which describe projects for the building of the Canal de Bourgogne in France. One published in 1788, the other uh, five years later. Strikingly, the words they use to describe these projects are almost identical. Yeah? So it's actually clear that the newer book reused part of the text uh, of the uh, older book. However, the newer book doesn't cite the older book in the kind, the kind of way that we today would find proper. Now, for us as historians, architectural historians, it's actually quite important and useful to know which author is using which text of which other book. Partly, of course, because it allows us to understand which other books an author was reading when they were composing their own text. Secondly, it allows us to trace when you could say completely new ideas emerge, when you have parts of books that are not at all referring to other previous uh, examples of books on similar subjects. But finally, and I think this is the most important thing, we can gather an understanding of how and why authors reuse texts of previous uh, authors. Now, in order to trace these similarities, you could say traditional scholarship relied basically on erudition, yeah? on reading and going through as many related texts uh, uh, as possible. And why this is obviously still necessary, it's sort of limited by human uh, capacities of remembering and understanding. What is really crucial, I think, in you could say the, the, this new version uh, of, of Graph is that we allow uh, researchers to have kind of what we call a middle view of the relationship between different books. We not only show which books are related to other ones or how much is being reused from one book to another, but also how passages from one book end up in the other. And you could say the main aim of Graph uh, was to use uh, computer technology and mainly OCR you know, to be able to make these comparisons, make the comparisons of text and trace text reuse through a large body of uh, books. So it becomes possible to see how uh, certain chapters in one book are, for instance, cut up into different pieces and spread out over another book, or conversely, how one entire part of one single book becomes one smaller part in uh, a second book. And this is exactly what is happening here. Uh, here, uh, the whole section on the Canal de Bourgogne of uh, the older book uh, is being reused as a chapter on the same subject in the newer publication.